My dad absolutely kidnapped me and held me hostage. This was his attempt to get me back into the Mormon church, away from marijuana. I believe he did think that I was using too much cannabis. Peter called me and told me that God told him that Jarrell was in a cannabis-induced psychosis. He diagnosed Jarrell off snippets of behavior, and feelings, prayer. and a prayer to God. And he has no medical degree. I think my father-in-law's nuts. A few months ago, I went to a friend's house for a party. I was told that Jarrell was acting very strange, behaving like the karate kid, climbing trees, and taking his clothes off. Peter was under the impression that Jarrell needed to be saved from this cannabis-induced psychosis. When I left the party, my dad arranged to have my keys, my phone, and my wallet separated from me. And he also arranged for me to be taken to his remote property, three hours away, where my dad owns 30 acres of land. I was flipping out. I tried to get out of the car multiple times. My only other option was to kick out a window on the freeway or to somehow crash us all by jumping up and trying to take over the vehicle. I said, Dad, I'm not staying up here. Why are you kidnapping me? I was in the middle of nowhere. I didn't have my phone. I was in a trailer with no running water. I was literally just held hostage. Peter called me to let me know what's going on. He told me that Jarrell was in a cannabis-induced psychosis. He was gonna have Jarrell live up there for a while, so then he can come out of this psychosis. My dad controlled absolutely everything. Peter insisted that if I talked to Jarrell, I would make him want to leave. Peter told me, Trisha, this is life or death, and I need to do whatever it takes to save his life. My dad tried to use his priesthood powers to sacrifice demons that were haunting me. I was telling him, don't you see, you don't have any power over me. I'm who I am, I'm not going through any psychosis. I was frightened. I was distraught, and I had no idea what was gonna happen next. Jarrell claims that after three nights being held hostage, as he calls it, at his father's compound, his dad then involuntarily committed him to a psych ward. Right after I was released from the hospital, I was handcuffed by the police and involuntarily admitted into a psych hospital. He was erratic. Sometimes his behavior was off the charts. Peter 100% admitted to me that he exaggerated everything to get Jarrell admitted into the psychiatric hospital. I spent seven days at the psych hospital. It was a true nightmare. After I left the psychiatric hospital, I refused to stay on my dad's property. He ended up taking me to a homeless shelter. It was nine days after I got to the homeless shelter that Trisha came and picked me up. Now that I'm back home, it's been really hard. I think my dad was totally off his rocker. He committed felony crimes against his son, and he thought he was above the law. I told my entire story to the police, and I am pressing charges against my dad for kidnapping, grand theft, and unlawful use of a vehicle. I totally feel my dad has gone off the deep end.